What's up everybody, welcome back. Thank you so much for taking the time to hang out. Today we're taking out for a spin the brand new Polar Pro Light Chaser for iPhone 12 Pro Max. Whew, let's go. All right, you probably noticed that the set has completely changed and that is because I am currently filming from San Juan, Puerto Rico. And I'm very excited because I had the opportunity to take out the light chaser kit out into the wild and film in the beautiful capital of Puerto Rico. If you've been here before, you probably remember the light chaser video I made a while back, but this time is a brand new redesign that fits the iPhone 12 and the iPhone 12 Pro Max. If you're brand new to the channel, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Now the Light Chaser Pro starts at $149 and Polar Pro has created kits that will allow you to get the complete experience, but you do have the option to pick and choose parts of your kit and make it your own. The Filmmaker Kit includes the case, the grip, and a variable neutra density filter or VND. While the director's kit includes the case, the grip, the VND filter, a mist diffusion filter, and a Bluetooth shutter. By the time of this video, they were also given away a circular polarizer filter, which is fantastic. Now the overall kit looks and feels very similar to the previous version, but Polar Pro made a couple of changes to the case, the grip, and the mounting mechanism. It is a lot easier to mount your filters and to snap them out. It was really cool to be able to snap the filters in place with the cover on and then just take it out, take my photos and videos while I was out and about in San Juan. But for lunchtime, I was able to just take it off real easy, put it in its cover and engage with my phone and use my phone. And I'm not gonna lie, I went down to old San Juan, I stayed there, and I barely took any photos or videos with my Canon USR. Everything that I captured was captured with my 12 Pro Max with the Light Chaser Kit because it's so easy to be able to capture great looking photos and videos with this amazing kit. Now, one of the major reasons why you would want to use a variable ND filter with your smartphone is because smartphones automatically pick and choose their settings for you when you're out and about using just a native camera app. With third-party apps, you do have control over your shutter speed and ISO, but the awesome thing about the Light Chaser Kit is that you don't really have to focus too much on that, and you do have three different levels of neutral density. You can go from level three all the way up to level five in order to slow your shutter speed down. Now, another benefit of using the Polar Pro VND filter is that you're gonna get higher contrast, a little bit better saturation, and things are just gonna be a little bit warmer, and they're gonna pop. Here are some shots that I captured in Old San Juan with the Polar Pro Light Chaser Kid using the VND filter. that much to say I had a blast using the light chaser pro kit because it made my filmmaking a lot easier I used to carry backpacks full of gear lenses and honestly I loved being in the moment and being able to just simply capture what I need to capture and I was just comfortable that the filter was actually helping me get that cinematic footage so I really didn't have to worry too much about it and the overall kit felt right not only the case and its redesign that allows you not only to adjust the grip but also use it in the front so if you're trying to vlog with a rear camera you can actually flip and rotate the grip and adjust its position so you can 
technically speaking, go blind, but you can vlog because if you're using the ultra wide lens, you can actually hold into the phone, which is awesome. And unexpected tip is that you can actually see your reflection in the filter. And I was able to use that as a point of reference since I couldn't see myself on the screen, of course. Now, before we continue, this video is brought to you by Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for curious and creative people, just like you. Explore new skills, deepen existing passions, and get lost in creativity. I actually took a DIY product photography class by Rachel Galata and Daniel Inskeep, and it actually introduced me to a whole different perspective, and that translated to a product shoot that I had recently, which is on my Instagram if you wanna check it out. I am also right in the middle of color grading, creating a cinematic look by Fred Trevino, and it's very interesting because Fred mentioned different elements that make videos cinematic, and some of them I knew, but I never realized that I knew, and now, it's front and center every time I turn on the camera or pick up my smartphone. Skillshare classes are specifically curated for learning, meaning there are no ads and they're always launching brand new premium classes. So you can stay focused and follow wherever your creativity takes you. And the best part is that it's less than $10 a month with an annual subscription. Now we're gonna make it even sweeter because the first 1,000 of my subscribers to click the link in the description will get a free trial of premium membership so you can explore your creativity. Thank you Skillshare for sponsoring this video. All right, everybody. Now this is a blind vlog portion of the video, so to speak, uh, but it's possible now to vlog comfortably with your smartphone using the rear camera with the whole Glide Chaser kit because the grip not only works on the back side of the phone, but now the grip works on the front side of the phone. So I could actually position it across, literally over the screen. But as you can see right now, it kind of works out pretty well. Uh, one thing to keep an eye out for is tapping the screen by mistake with your fingers while they're pretty much uh, holding the grip. So I'm kind of like lightly holding the grip with the tips of my finger, not the whole full grip just to make sure I'm not accidentally tapping on the screen. But honestly, I think it's a fantastic, more comfortable solution for vlogging with higher quality, higher resolution, and on top of that, getting really good cinematic motion with the variable ND filter. But speaking a little bit more about the grip, this grip not only functions as a grip, but also functions as a tripod. If you want to stand your phone vertically, you can adjust the position all the way to the bottom of the case, and it allows you to do that. So if you're trying to film those TikToks and you don't have a tripod, you could totally use the grip to assist in those kind of situations. You can put it on a table, you can put it on the floor, and you'll be able to capture steady video or photos with your phone. Now, Polar Pro's taking this to a whole new level with the Bluetooth shutter. And honestly, at the beginning, I saw it, it was cool. I didn't think I was gonna use it because I'm used to already not only using the volume buttons on the phone, but just simply tapping on it. But just simply being able to use my phone as a camera opened up my mind a little bit. I was just simply able to snap shots, kind of like you would do with an SLR. You would go blind and start shooting left and right. I was treating my phone like a normal camera and that actually made me feel more in control for a lot of different scenarios. There was this time where I was at the very edge of El Morro. I could see how if I just held my phone normally and tried to tap the screen, my phone was probably gonna fall. But because I had the grip, I was able to just simply go underslung and use the shutter to take that shot. Those are the kind of small little things that add up to a better experience when you're out and about doing street photography or just simply vlogging. Another fantastic feature is the fact that the case itself is MagSafe compatible. And this is awesome because while I was walking out, if you really think about this, you can have your complete solution in your pockets without really having to carry any other bags or anything like that. But it's just so convenient, so well thought of because you can already start using some of the accessories that you already own. For this trip, I only brought a MagSafe charger and it was really cool to be able to not have to take my phone off the case all the time. So bravo Polar Pro for including MagSafe capabilities to this case. Another feature that Polar Pro introduced with the brand new case redesign is the fact that you can use now moment lenses right on 
your Light Chaser Pro case. Honestly, this capability brings in a lot of value for people who already have moment lenses or are looking to get some. And last but not least, Polar Pro included a mist filter, a diffusion mist filter. And what the mist filter does on top of applying neutral density, so think of this as a VND filter that does the three, the four, and the five, and it makes it like sunglasses for your smartphone. But at the same time, the mist filter is diffusing light. So it's spreading out and it's gonna give you this smooth, halo-y vibe. I was very impressed because it didn't overdo it. It is very consistent and because we're using 12 Pro Max, there's a fantastic feature under the camera settings called Auto FPS. And what this feature does is that it improves your dynamic range and low light performance by grabbing a 30 frames per second video and bringing it down to 24, but it uses those frames and that information to enhance your dynamic range and your low light. So I took it out for a spin, not only back home in California, but also in old San Juan and we got this. I was already very, very impressed with the light chaser kit that they originally introduced a year or so ago, but Polar Pro made some necessary changes and some changes I never saw coming like MagSafe, like the Bluetooth shutter and being able to use the grip in the front. It's something that makes a lot of sense once you try it because it makes everything so much comfortable. And I really love the overall ecosystem that they have with the filters, the grip, and of course, the case. But I want to know what you think. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. If you have any questions or suggestions, drop them down there so we can continue to create relevant content for you. Link to the Light Chaser Kit is down in the description. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And as always, thank you so much for sharing your time with me. I'll catch you on the next one.